Yes, welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you how to design uh, on a, uh, this thing a flyer for a restaurant. Yes, a flyer for a restaurant. So let's just go into it and let's have it done. Yes. Uh, this is my Photoshop. It has already opened, so there's no need for me to open it. The first thing I have to do, however, let me show you the details. Let me show you the details. Okay. There is the details I will use. There is the details and there is the information that will be on it. So fine. So let's just come to it. I will go create a new file and it will be international paper A4. Then I will call it fly. Flyer. Okay, it's okay for me. Then I'll have something like this. Okay, so and the first thing I have to do is to create my layout how I want it to be. So in the first case, I'll come and pick rectangular tool. Then I'll draw like this. Then I'll change the color to this. Okay. Then. On this one, I'll, I'll transform it by going edit, free transform, like this. Then I'll right click and come to work. Then I'll move this one in. Then move that one in. I'll move it just like this. Then I'll click OK. I just have a shape like that over there. Then I'll duplicate this. Right click and duplicate the layer. Yes. So, what should I do? This one, I'll change the color to white. Okay, then I'll bring it down. And I'll move it out. So, the first thing I have to do next, the next thing I have to do is to come and bring the image over there. Yes, and I'll bring this image over here. Then, I'll transform it. Transform it, okay. And I'll click, okay. So, these two layers, I'll move it a little bit in so that it can work with the background over there. Then I'll come to the background, then I'll add the gradient over here. Then I'll choose this. You see it? So, I'll change this color, I'll change it to background over here. Okay, let me change it to this color. Okay, I'll change it to this color. Okay, so I'll click OK. Okay, so I'm just having the layer like that. So this particular layer, white layer, I'll come and tilt it this way. Tilt it over here. I'll put it over here. It's okay for me. Then I'll move this one in. Okay, move this one in. This one is too big, but I'll make it small. But I tell that should be done that way. Okay, then this way, this one should cover that piece. Okay, so this one I will duplicate it, right click, duplicate. Then I'll come and click here, then I'll come here, then I'll close it up, then I'll pick white. That's I'm adding stroke. So the stroke I'll make it 20. Okay. Then I'll click over there. Now bring it over here. We get that. So I'll tilt that one to like that. Okay. I'll tilt it. It's okay for me. We get that. So I'm just creating it like that. So I'll save it. Always save so that you can you won't make pro you won't get trouble at the end of your this thing. So let's have something like this. Okay, let's come to the information. Uh restaurant name restaurant name. So I'll paste 
I'll paste it. Okay. Okay. Then I'll come and change the color to white for now. Then I'll make it 30 so that you come up there so that you get it. So there is the roster right here. So for now, let me just put it somewhere here. I don't need it. So let me come and pick special background. Okay. Then I'll come and paste that one too. This way. Yep. So the next thing I'll come and pick that name. Then I'll paste that one too. You get that? So this one, I'll let it come back. Then I'll change the what? I'll change the font. Let me click on my font. The font is coming up. Okay. So let me come and use this particular font and see. Amiral. Okay. Amiral is okay for me. Then I'll have Amiral over here. Then this one over there. You get that? Yes. So I'll make it this one. So I can decide to change the background. Background. Okay. Change the this thing over there. Okay. Let me move this one over there so that we get actually what I'm doing. I normally do while saving because I don't want to have problem so location so I'll pick my location I'll paste it over here then I'll change I'll change okay let me make it copies then I will reduce it to 12 12 is too small no problem I'll have it like this let's zoom it in so I will get the crew Okay, so I'll make it 30 so that's true that we can make some changes. So I'll come and copy it, this one, then come and put it over here. Okay, so I'll have something like this. And I'll make left alignment over there. And I'll cut over there. I'll cut it. Then I'll have something like that. Then I'll make it this way. Okay. So I'll change the size. Now see 18 is okay. So this one should also be 18. Okay, 18. Then this one to 18. Okay. Then I'll go import this QR code over there. Then I'll transform it over here. Shouldn't be too big. Okay, it's okay. Then I'll come and add some layout to it. So make it white. Then I'll make it good up like that. So let me zoom it out so that we get the clue. So the aligner should go by this. Should go by this. Should come over here. Over there. Over here. Okay. Should go over here. This one should come over there. Turn. Let me bring this one back so I'll get it. It will get it full like that. Okay. I just want to have this kind of layout over there. So, this is what I'll have. Then, making it white so that it can appear and pop up very, very well. Okay. So, I'll save. Let's come back to the details. Okay, I'll copy it for order. Then for order, I'll come and paste it over there. Like that. 
and I'll come and complete the phone number this way. Look at that. Done. Put the number over here. You get that. So you're gonna have it over here. Then have for order two over here. Then I'll go to file, come to paste link, and I'll bring this icon there. Then I'll transform it. Okay, I want the tutorial not to be too long. So I just want to make some short this thing. Okay. So I have something like this. Then I'll come to FX and change the color. I want the color to be white. Then this way. Then should go by this way. Okay. So let me lock this distance so that I can be moving the thing without any problem. Alignment is important when designing. Okay, so let's go by that. So let me see. Save 25%. I'll come over here and pick ellipse two. Ellipse two. Then I'll draw circle like this. Then let me make it this color. Okay. Let me bring it over here. I just want to get the distance good, so I'll double, I'll duplicate the layer over there. Then I'll change, I'll close this one and open the what is the name? The stroke. The stroke can see make it five. Okay. And then I'll transform it in like this. It's okay. You get that. Then I'll come and copy it. The save. Then I'll come and paste it over here. Like that. Then I'll come and copy it. The 25. Then I'll paste it over that. You get that. So let me zoom it out. So that you get the clue. So this one will be here. And this one will be here. Then I'll increase the size to 36. Okay, so I'll group it, then I'll move it somewhere over here. It's okay. So let me have it like that. So let's keep going. So, what should I do? What should I do? So right now let me check on, on my details. I think that's all the details. Okay. So this particular two things, special beggar, I'll bring it over here for now. So I just want to import in the pictures. So I'll create another circle. Then I'll change it to white. You get that. Then I'll go to file this link and bring in let me bring let's bring in this chicken you know i love chicken but then i'll transform it okay transform it this way okay you see it now click okay you get that so i'll duplicate this one and then transform that one to to come out like this. Then I'll make this one. Then I'll change. I'll make the stroke. And I'll make the stroke ten this way. So I'll group it this way. And I'll call it one. So we we'll have something one here. Then I'll right click. And duplicate the group and I'll move it over here and I'll duplicate it again and move it over there the alignment should be should go so I'll change this 
image that we deleted then I'll come and put in this particular image let me delete this here okay I am transforming it okay yes so let me transform it Let me move it. Okay, so then you click OK this way. Then you come to this one again. Then you delete that one too. Then you go and pick the other image, which is this. Okay, then you bring it over there. Then you transform it again to the distance. Okay, this way. So I have three foot already like that. So after you do this, you group, you just transform it this way. Then you have it over there like that. So let me see what I have to do. So you call back, you bring back the special beggar come over here okay very beautiful yes so the next thing I have to do is to move this particular distance on top small this one on top this way okay so I can have some special size or some special space to do what I have to do okay so let me have something like this then the company name you can decide to put the company name on top over there no problem yes put it over there it's beautiful but if the company has a logo then you can decide to say you know the company logo should be somewhere here okay I'm just creating a custom logo like that okay then this way over there then that one will represent the company logo so let me finalize it by putting something over here and that one let me make the color this way This call this thing call for order. I just want to just want to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Then I move it over here. Okay. So we are getting to the final this thing for the design. Then when you have something like this, then you just want to create some shape that also speaks something over there. You get that? Yes. It speaks something. That shape says something. Okay. Then I'll hold alternate duplicate it over there okay so that is just the final picture for the design thank you very much for watching have a nice day drop your comments like share and subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye you